Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 41st tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to learn to use the for loop. Now, for is uh, pretty different from while and until. And uh, in the last few tutorials, the script files that we made, we knew in advance uh, the number of times we wanted to execute the loop blocks. Right, uh, we wanted to display 10 numbers, so we initialized our control variable to 1 and we kept on incrementing it till it got the value 11, and uh, that's how we got our numbers on screen. But 4 offers a better syntax and a better mechanism in cases where you do not know in advance how many times you want the uh, loop to execute. Right, so you know, I'll just demonstrate uh, the loop for you in a script and uh, you'll be able to understand it. So uh, I have my text editor here and I've saved this file in the home folder, given it the name for in the extension sh. And um, I'm not going to put a comment in the script because uh, it doesn't really make any sense to just type in for loop in action. Of course, you people know that for loop is going to be in action in the script. So I'll just get started and uh, I'll type in the keyword for on the first line and uh, then I'll type in my control variable, right? And I'm not going to call it count this time. Instead, I'm going to give it the name item. And uh, what the script is going to do is it's going to scan through the home folder and it will check for directory files, right? So basically it will check for the folders in the home folder and uh, it will display the names of all the folders in the, um, you know, as the output on the screen, right? So I'll show you the condition of the home folder first. So I have a bunch of directories here. Desktop, for example, is a directory. Documents is a directory. Downloads is a directory. And I have directories uh, till videos. And after videos, I have uh, all these executable script files, like 4.sh is a script file, and ss9, and ss32. All these are script files, right? So what the script will do is it will scan through the home folder. And by that, I mean it will you know, go through each and every item in the home folder and it will check, OK, is desktop a directory? Of course it is. So display. Uh, its name in the output and documents is a folder yes so display its name but 4.sh or ss9.sh these are not uh, directories so these names will not be displayed on screen so that's what the script is going to do it's going to be a pretty simple script but we're not going to use ls so you know uh, let's just see how it's going to work so I have uh, my control variable and I've given it the name item and after the control variable I'm going to type in the keyword in and uh, Two, and uh, on the next line I'll type in done and all my for loop statements are going to go between do and done but how many uh, times or you know how do I want for to decide what it has to do I'll have to give it some target folder name or you know I'll have to t tell it uh, you know where it has to search for the items and that I'm going to do by putting an asterisk symbol after the keyword in and uh, if you guys remember when I discussed ls with you in maybe the 12th or 13th tutorial I uh, told you that the significance of asterisk when you use it uh, you know with ls is that it stands for everything in the current directory right and uh, since the uh, for script is saved in the home folder asterisk when uh, the shell will execute the 4.sh file would mean all the items in the home folder, right? So I hope you get that. And um, between the do and done keywords, I will have to check if uh, the current item is a directory or not. And that I'm going to do by using if statement and within square brackets, I'll put the condition hyphen D space uh, hyphen D space dollar item, right? And uh, well, if the item is uh, a directory, then we will have to echo its name out. So between then and fi, I'll type in echo dollar item fi. And I'll save the script file and let me first execute it for you, and then I'll talk you guys through the script. So sh space four dot sh. Now press the enter key. You see that I only get the names of uh, the folders and not the files, right? So let me talk you guys through the script uh, once again. Uh, for item in star, uh, what this would do is item would get each and every uh, 
you know item that we see in the home folder that is in the first iteration item will get the desktop folder and it will check if desktop is a directory or not and of course it is so it will be displayed and this will keep on happening till we get to uh, videos but when uh, the loop counter reaches 4.sh it will check whether 4.sh is a directory or not by executing this test condition uh, that you have on line 3 and it's not a directory so you know this would be skipped and uh, then uh, ss9.sh will be assigned to item and uh, the same procedure will be followed and this will keep on happening till all the items in the home folder have been exhausted right so if uh, for example here uh, in my output I don't want to see the directories but if I want to see the files all I'll have to do is make uh, a very little change in the test condition in my if statement I'll have to put hyphen f instead of hyphen d right so I'll save the file and uh, let me clear the screen first and when I execute the script you see that this time I don't see my folder names I just see my um, you know file names so that's it that's uh, how you use the for loop and um, as I mentioned earlier in this tutorial for is uh, a better option than while and until in cases when you do not know how many times you have to execute the loop for example in this case we don't we don't know how many items we had in the home folder right I mean uh, I would have had to check first uh, by executing ls or by opening the home folder and seeing uh, at the bottom here that it has 20 items but uh, that was uh, you know just too much work so that's why i use for and uh, also since this is the first time we have our variable in the script i haven't used a dollar symbol here right uh, and uh, you don't have to do that you don't necessarily have to initialize your control variable if you're using for so for item space in space uh, asterisk symbol and asterisk as I mentioned earlier stands for all the items that you have in the home folder. So um, that's it for now and in the next tutorial we're going to check out something interesting maybe an application of these loops uh, but for the time being that's all I wanted to talk about. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial and uh, please subscribe to my channel.